But the worst thing is they're not, you know, he's an 18 year old man now. Yeah. He's not a kid. Yeah. But they're showing pictures of him as a child yeah. and saying, oh, he's oh. got mental problems. Yeah. He's a freaking murderer. He's a horrific murderer who's killed three beautiful young girls. Uh, and they they almost see, am I imagining this when I'm no. seeing this? Do they ever show Tommy Robinson as a six year old? <laughs> I say a far right thug just arrested his leg up. Yeah, has it down, did it? Yeah. Why would they not have any pictures of him as an adult? Propaganda. It's all about controlling the narrative. You're less likely to hate him, be violent against him, be violent against community, demonstrate when you can see an eighteen year old man. There's a sketch of him in the police station. Yeah. He's got a great big what what wedge of hair. Yeah. He's a he's a he's a he's a big black man. Yeah. But they're not showing that on those pictures. No. It's a oh he was in Doctor Who and he's like they're almost That's to make you feel sorry for him and not hate him, in which case you're less likely to commit violence. But how who the fuck is sorry, pardon my friend, who is coordinating this? They're doing it themselves. The, 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 don't forget, the BBC and Sky News have not been forced to do these things. They believe in these things between themselves. Yeah, but a Sky, the Telegraph, the Sky News, all saying, let's just put pictures of him on as a, as a little innocent looking boy on there. Yeah, they've got selection of photos and they're going to themselves, do you know what? The riots in the streets, we're going to be safe. Let's show that one. Cause no one can accuse us then of trying to incite more violence. Let's put the nice pictures on. And this is what happens under authoritarian states. We think... Jesus. We think all these organisations are being told what to do. That's impossible. What you do is you give these organisations the incentives to want to do it themselves. And that's what happens. And these have been the incentives over decades now. This is learned behaviour. But I just think that's quite grotesque. He's a horrific murderer. Mm -hmm. A man who has killed three little children and, and, and badly yeah. injured nine others. And they're putting pictures on him as, as an innocent little boy and saying he had mental issues when he was, uh, you know. No. Did they ever say that about when uh, about the white thugs who no. were thrown? They never have mental health uh, issues. Yeah, they haven't got mental health yeah. issues. They're just right-wing thugs yeah. who need to be thrown yeah. in jail. The Nigerian who hacked almost to death the army soldier, um, the army captain, whatever he was, yeah, straight away, mental health issues. It's become a meme on social media now. Whenever someone's arrested of an ethnic minority, there's a meme then going, oh, yeah. mental health issues. Has Tommy Robinson got mental health issues because maybe his father was a bit tough on him when he was young and that's the reason he has those views? No. Yep. He's just a, he's just a right-wing thug mm. who deserves to, who's now been threatened with being locked up when he returns to England, yep. even though he's been on holiday. Yep. It's just obscene, this stuff. Nick. Again, two-tier policing and a two-tier reporting system. Everything's two-tier. You have... Ethnic minorities here, and we treat them like this, and within that we treat them differently because look how they treat Jews. Yeah. So yeah. you know, Jews. Oh yeah, the certain minorities. ethnic minorities we don't want. Around. Exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. So we treat them like that, but white working class, you no, know, we, we treat them like this, so, you know, and yeah. and everyone does it all the time, from the universities to the RVF. So RVF wouldn't let white men get pilot jobs because we want to do this. Our police force will give other people jobs over white people. Uh, the press, the BBC had a, um, a project to attract more young black people into the newsroom or da -da -da. Yeah, was it open to white people. They did um, the same with my son's accountancy firm. One of the big top yeah. firms, I think it was either PwC or KPMG, had a black only application yeah. for certain... So, so this is throughout the whole society where you were demonising white, straight men the most. Other people were demonised, depending on, on what boxes you tick. You know, young, white, gay men now are treated just as bad as young, oh, white, yeah, straight yeah, men. Oh, yeah, yeah, because so they're the, not trannies. Yeah. The, gay, the gay card doesn't work anymore yeah. now. <laughs> yes, um, because gay men now are actually, ter you know, they're not accepting the fact that they're actually trannies, basically. Yeah. That's what it is now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. 20 years ago, you, you could play identity politics by saying you're a Jew. <laughs> that doesn't work anymore now. Now that you get treated even worse now. So there's these oppression Olympics where you're a victim depending where you are on the scale and we'll treat you accordingly. So the press doing it, it's nothing new. Everyone's doing it. Did you enjoy that video? I think you did. Come on now, hit that bell, subscribe, comment.
let's build this channel. I need more followers. I need more subscribers. Be part of the journey. See you soon.